Good morning, everyone. Um, my name is Nichelle. I will be guiding you through an hour of a yoga flow. Um, yoga at home, it's very attainable, very accessible. Um, give yourselves this time and this moment to really take care of your body and take care of your mind without any expectations. Um, just allow yourself to move, to breathe, to feel good, to feel uncomfortable, and then to come back to that state of goodness. Um, so we're going to start seated down, and I want you to just close your eyes. You can sit crisscross applesauce, you can sit on your bottom, whatever supports you best. And just feel rooted and long in your spine and your back. And if by chance you can't hear me, you can go ahead and comment on the question portion of the panel. Um, just let me know if I need to raise my volume up or not. But so have your seat, roll your shoulder blades down your back. You can give them a couple little shoulder shrugs, little shoulder rolls. And then lean your chin back so that your neck is aligned with your shoulders. A lot of times we tend to overextend or hunch ourselves over just from that day-to-day -day movement of being on our phones, our computers, and our cars and whatnot. So try to push your neck back over your shoulders. And just focus on your cycle of breath. Just your normal, regular, automatic breathing. That breath you wake up with, the breath you don't really notice. Just start to bring awareness to it. And then start to identify what kind of breather you are. Do you breathe with your belly? Does your belly expand on your inhales? or on your exhales? Do you breathe in your chest? Do you find shortness of breath as you breathe through your chest? Do you breathe through your mouth? Just take notice. What kind of breather are you? And keeping your eyes closed, take a big open mouth exhale, all of the stale energy away from your body. Just push air out of your body. Take a deep full inhale through your belly and a big open mouth exhale release. It's just you in your living room, in your space. Be as loud as you want to be or as loud as it feels good and comfortable in your body. Another breath in through your nose, expanding through your belly. And an open mouth exhale. Last round, creating this awareness and this control of breathing. Big inhale through your belly and nose. And an open mouth exhale. Let your shoulders depress every time you release air away from yourself. And coming back to this conscious breathing, start breathing in and out of your nose. Inhale through your nose, strengthen and constrict the back of your throat. And exhale through your nose like you're fogging up a mirror. So important to start the cycle of breathing and the control of your breath early on in your practice. Allowing yourself to create discipline, create awareness, not only for your physical self, but also for your mental self. For the thoughts that roll around in your head. And as we start to bring awareness into the body, start to bring awareness into your mind. What are you thinking about? Where is your head at? It's okay if it's running a thousand, a thousand minutes a mile. Don't even know if that's possible. I just made up a number. But however fast it's running, however slow it's running, just take notice of the movement in your head. Now allow your thoughts to come at a standstill and focus on your breathing. Maybe counting helps. Inhales for four, three, two, one. And exhales through your nose for four, three, two, one. Whatever brings your brain at a steady pace. 
find that discipline, find your focus, and find your awareness. If your thoughts start to speed up, bring them back to your breath. You feel your thoughts slowing down so much so that you can no longer concentrate. Come back to your breath. Now, just a couple more breaths like that. And I want you to start to think about gratitude. So through this whole crazy pandemic that we've experiencing, I've really been leaning on the side of gratitude just to keep myself positive, to keep myself hopeful, and also to just keep myself in an abundant space. I think when things are taken away from us like they've been this, these past couple months, um, we start to live in a space of scarcity where we're reaching and we're looking for something more because so much has been taken away from us. But rather than focusing on what you no longer have or what has been temporarily put on pause, can you focus on all of the things that you do have and all of the things that you may have gained throughout these past couple months? Whether that means spending more time with your family, with yourself, picking up new hobbies, uh, training yourself to work at home and work out at home. Maybe you're cooking more, maybe you're cooking less. Whatever positive gain that you have received in this time, shift your mindset from scarcity into abundance. Think about all that you've gained these past couple months with your breath. Deep inhales through your nose. And deep exhales through your nose. Give yourself two more breaths. What have you gained in these last few months? What abundance do you carry in your life? Can you shift your mindset away from scarcity within this one hour? Last breath in. And last breath out. Beautiful, my friends. Thank you so much for working on your breath, your body, and your mind. Now, if you were able to download my yoga playlist, go ahead and feel free to press play um, because we're going to start moving. So meet me on your mat if you're not already there. We're going to start in child's pose. So bring your toes together. Spread your knees out to the distance of your mat. And then find a seat with your bottom on your heels and your forehead on the ground. Allow your elbows to rest on the floor and start to push your tailbone, the bony part of your butt, down towards the earth. Let your forehead gently relax on the ground and extend your head, the crown of your head, to the top of your mat. You want a long neck. Focus on the stretch through your inner thighs and your spine. And then come back to regulating your breath, inhalations and exhalations through your nose. Fill your breath up so much that you start to feel the expansion in your lungs all the way from your belly to your spine, your chest, maybe even a little in your head. And allow your exhales to be just as long as your inhale. Child's pose is a great position to just find some relief, whether that means from stress or from physical stress in your body, your back specifically. It's a neutral position, it's a home base to come back to when your body and your mind do not feel at ease. So allow yourself to find some ease here. Two more breaths in your child's pose. Focus on the expansion in your spine with your breathing. 
And gently roll yourself up into a tabletop position, moving yourself into all fours. So shoulders in line with your wrists, hips in line with your knees. Find elongation in your spine as you pull your tailbone to the back of the room and hug your hip bones up towards your belly button. Separate your shoulder blades away from one another, kind of like you're stretching your mat away from each other or stretching the sides of your mat away from each other. Also creating a little bit of engagement in your chest. Rolling around with the spine, inhale cow pose, lift your chest, lift your hips, take your gaze up to the sky and breathe. Lift your chin high, feel that stretch along the front of your neck. Embrace your belly into your spine so you're not overarching in your low back. Take a breath in. Exhale, cat pose, dome your back, tuck your chin into your chest, lengthen your tailbone down to your knees. Brace your core inside your spine and continuously push your shoulder blades up to the sky. You want this doming sensation in your upper back. To feel relief in your cervical spine. You can give yourself a little wiggle side to side. Move your neck side to side. This is one of my favorite movements just because I have a really tight upper back. So tuck your chin into your chest. Just let your head dangle down. Give yourself one more breath here. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Push the ground away. So find a breath to movement flow. Inhale, cow pose. And exhale, cat. Continuously move up and down with your spine. And if any other sensation is calling for you, maybe circles in the hip, circles in the neck, movement with the wrist, whatever supports your body best here, add that in. Just two more rounds. And inhale, gently come back into your tabletop position. And tuck your toes, take a full breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shift your hips up and towards the back of your room. So bring your feet out to at least the distance of your hips. Find a soft bend in your knees to support your hamstrings and your back muscles. Spiral your knees to point towards the midline of your toes, engaging your outer thigh. Rotate your biceps forward so that the eyes of your elbows are pointing into one another and you have space for your shoulders. You want to guide your chest down towards your thigh and find elongation in the spine. You feel yourself rounding in your upper back, bring a deeper bend into your knees and further lengthen your chest towards your thigh. Push down through your fingertips or down through the knuckles of your hands so you find a solid grip in your mat. You wanna play around with lengthening the hamstrings. You can send one heel to the ground, keep the other knee bent, and then we'll switch it out. Other heel to the ground, keep your opposite leg bent. And then just start to walk it out. Heel to floor, heel to floor. Getting that length in your hamstrings and your calves. Try to keep the support in your shoulders as you rotate your biceps forward. And then find both of your heels sending to the ground just for a breath in and for a breath out. Bend your knee, inhale, look forward. And exhale forward, fold, step your feet behind your wrist to the top of your mat. Bring your feet out to the distance of your hips or even a little wider as we find more range of motion for your spine. So lean yourself forward into the balls of your feet. Let your neck and head hang heavy and grab for opposite elbows here. You want your torso to be weighted down by gravity. Just let your upper body stay heavy and you can rock side to side. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. And to support your hamstrings even further, keep that bend in your knees to focus on the elongation in your spine. We'll prep or we'll play with moving the hamstrings deeper later on in the class. Option, like I said earlier, I have a really tight upper back. So this really helps to interlace your hands, place them behind the base of your skull and allow gravity to just pull that weight down. You're gonna feel relief from your traps, all the way down to your neck. Just breathe. I usually feel this in the mid part of my spine too. 
Allow your whole spine to just decompress down to the floor. One more full inhale. And a full exhale. And gently relax your hands down to the ground. And until you your feet to about hip width distance or whatever is comfortable for your body. Create a slight bend in your knees, tuck your chin into your chest. And then one by one, let your vertebra curl up to the top of your body. Just gently roll, let your chin and chest stay connected until you reach the top. Take a big breath in, shoulders to ears. Big breath out, shoulders roll down. Breath in, shoulders to ears. Breath out, shoulders down. One more time, deep inhale. And a deep exhale. Inhale, raise your arms up to the sky. And exhale, bring your hands into your heart center. Close your eyes. Let your thumbs point towards your sternum. Feel completely rooted with your feet in the ground. Press the balls of your feet down as well as your heels. Lengthen your tailbone down towards the floor as you engage your low, low belly. Squeeze your outer ribs into the center of your torso, engaging and activating the upper core. Continuously depress the shoulders down and away from your ears. And come back to focusing on your breath. Stay exactly where and as you are. And come back to your intentions. Again, how can you focus deeper today on all of the abundance in your life? Everything that you currently have or you have gained in these last few months. Move your headspace away from thinking of scarcity. Again, focus on all that you have and all that you've gained. You are abundant. You are enough. Take a full breath in. And a full breath out. Relax your hands by your side. And then we'll start to move a little bit deeper and bigger. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach, raise your arms up to the sky. So rotate your pinkies inward. Let your thumbs face the back of the room. Squeeze your ribs into the center of your body and lengthen your tailbone down towards your heels. Take a full inhale. And the exhale, gently release your hands behind your back. Bring your palms together behind you. Create just a soft bend in your elbows. Roll your shoulder blades downward back. You wanna find external rotation of your shoulder. Take a full inhale. Lift your chin up to the sky. You're going to find a little back bend. Lean your weight back, but let the weight remain in the balls of your feet. Expose your chin up to the sky. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Gently bring your neck back to a neutral position. Take a full inhale and exhale forward fold with your grip. Bend in your knees. Send your arms behind your head. So if you find any discomfort in your shoulders or your elbows, you can just wrap your opposite elbows instead or bring a bigger bend into your elbows. Continuously roll the weight into the balls of your feet, straighten your legs out this time to where it feels comfortable for the backs of your knees. And let your neck and head dangle heavy. You're finding opening in the shoulders, opening in the hamstrings here. Full inhale. And exhale, gently release your hands down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, place your hands on your shins and or your upper thighs, whatever is more accessible for your legs and your spine. Draw the weight forward into your toes, soften your knees, and continuously extend your neck. So you want to look straight down, kind of like if you're leaning off of a cliff. Breathe in. And then exhale, high plank, drop your hands down, step your feet back. Here comes the strengthening, focusing on that core strength. Keep your shoulders over your wrists. Push down through the knuckles of your hands. Think about spiraling and use the eyes of your elbows forward so you're activating your chest. Lengthen your heels to the back of the room and squeeze your belly all the way in and up towards your spine. Take a full breath in. Shift forward, exhale gently lower all the way down to your belly. If you need to, you can come down to your knees. We're moving into a cobra series. So hands come underneath your elbows. Squeeze your elbows together behind you. Press down to the tops of your feet. Fire up your quads. Squeeze your glutes. 
Inhale, Cobra Pose, peel your chest off the ground. Take your gaze forward and down so your neck is long. Squeeze your ribs together so that you're lifting through your upper back muscles. Take a full inhale. Exhale, gently release your forehead down to the ground. Now fully come up onto your fingertips, widen the distance of your hands. I like to call this spider hand program. Let's stay on the line of spider web spiders. Hug your elbows together. Inhale, cobra pose. Peel your chest off the ground. Keep the elongation of your neck. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core. Inhale, lift through your upper back muscles. Exhale, gently release. Now one more time, hands back underneath the elbows or shoulders. Inhale, cobra, let your hands float off the ground this time. So we're only focusing on the upper back body to lift us up. Brace your core in, press down through your feet. Inhale, rise. Exhale, gently release. Now tuck your toes. Option to come up onto your knees or push up high plank. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, downward facing dog. We send ourselves back. Whew. All right, good job, friends. Now we're going to move a little bit faster, finding that power flow in our bodies, connecting breath and movement. Focus on all that you have with your body, all that you've already gained within these first couple minutes. And allow yourself to move forward with that abundance. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward, fold to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise and reach. Exhale, gently release your hands, interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, forward, fold. Release your arms, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way down. Spider-Man fingers, inhale, Spider-Man cobra. Exhale, gently release. Tuck your toes, inhale, tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, press the movement, inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Keep the breathing in and out of your nose. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, release and interlace your hands. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, forward fold. Gently release your arms. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way down. Untuck your toes, Spider-Man fingers. Inhale, Spider-Man cobra. Exhale, gently release. Inhale, high plank, press up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good job, my friends. Give yourself two cycles of breath in and out of the nose. Catch your breath. Catch your head space. And come back to your gratitude. Moving forward, inhale, lift your right leg high. Take just a small bend in your left knee. Push your left knee to the midline of your toes. So you just want your knee in alignment with your ankle. Squeeze your heel up to the sky. Press down firmly through the knuckles of your hands. Full inhale. And exhale, low lunge. Bring your foot in between your hands. If it doesn't make it all the way over there, give yourself a little wiggle and shimmy so that your ankle and knee are in one line. Draw your back heel towards the ground. You can either stay on your hands, your fists, or I like to use my little Spider-Man fingers as well. Now I need to just find some movement and sensation in your hip. We're going to start to roll ourselves to the right side of our mat. Move your hips, move your knees, move your legs. Just getting some hip mobility in. And then we'll start to move in the opposite direction. So moving to the inside of the leg. Again, we're moving the knee, the hips, the hamstrings, the whole and shoulder. Now gently roll back into your neutral position. Drop your back knee down to the ground. Inhale, low crescent moon, stack your shoulders of your hips. Bring your arms up to the sky. So the ankle are in alignment. Relax your back toes, or if this puts too much pressure on your back knee, you can tuck your back toes or place a pillow underneath your knee. 
Sink your hips down so where you feel that stretch along your front hip flexor in your front thigh. Lengthen your tailbone straight down to the ground so we're not over curving in the back. Brace your low core in. And continuously rotate your pinkies inward so that your arms are in alignment with your shoulders. Take a full inhale. And then exhale, low crescent moon twist. So rotate your right arm behind you, reach back, and let your left arm move forward. Now, this is a lot in your shoulders. You can bend your elbows instead. So focus on keeping the stability of your pelvis. So draw your right hip down, push the earth away with your inner thigh, squeeze them together. Take your gaze to the back of your mat or to the back of the room. And continuously breathe. Inhale to lengthen in your spine. And exhale to twist. One more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, low crescent moon. Reach straight back up. And exhale, half split. Bring your hands into the ground. Straighten your front leg. Flex your toes towards your face. Keep your back hip and knee in one line. Flex your toes. You almost want to make this like triangle shape with your body. Stay on your Spider-Man fingers or whatever supports your body. Keep the elongation in your spine. So draw your collarbones forward. Continuously engage your core. Lift yourself away from your hips so you're not digging into your hip joints. Inhale to lengthen. And then exhale, maybe you creepy crawl your hands closer towards your foot. And then you'll find more length in your spine and in your calf and hamstring. Keep flexing your toes towards your face. And again, be mindful of your back knee. Full inhale. And a full exhale. Ooh, all right, friends. Draw your hands back underneath your shoulders. Inhale, low lunge. Rebend into your front knee. Pick your back knee up. And exhale, where you're just spiraling back. Heel down, open your arms up to a T shape. So you want about front heel to back arch alignment between your legs. Keep that 90 degree bend in your front knee. Lengthen your tailbone straight down to the ground and then rotate your ribs to face directly over your hip bones. Extend through your fingertips like someone's pulling you in opposite directions. You want to maintain that strength in your upper body. Take your gaze forward. Maybe you bring a deeper bend into the front knee. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, reverse warrior. High five the back of the room. Reach up and over your side body. Sass your left hip bone down. Keep bending into your front knee. You want to create a lot of space between this left rib and hip. So reach up and then extend back. You'll feel that stretch along your right rib cage or the side of your ribs from the bottom of your hip all the way up to your armpit. Take a full inhale. And exhale, extend inside angle. Reach your body forward. Place your elbow to the inside of your knee and raise your left arm up to the sky. So you want to create again yet another triangle looking shape with your body. Keep your back heel in alignment with your armpit. So really raise your obliques or your torso up to the sky. Press elbow into knee and or thigh to activate your lower body. Sass your right hip back and lean your chest behind you. Ooh, you'll feel this in your quads, in your core, but stay with it. Even if it gets uncomfortable, know that you're gaining strength here. Inhale, star pose. Reach up, heels and toes out. Open your body up big and wide. Breathe in. And exhale, horse squat. Bend your knees. Move yourself side to side. So point your knees to the middle of your toes. Lengthen your tailbone straight down to the floor and lift your chest up towards your thumbs. Squeeze your shoulders together and down your back. That way you're broadening your chest, activating your back muscles. Take a full inhale. Exhale, squat a little bit deeper. Let you in on a little secret. I actually really hate this pose. My inner thighs are really, really tight. But it's so good for opening up the hips, the legs. Again, stay in the discomfort as you gain strength and lengthen your body. Now let's move. Inhale, start pose. Exhale, horse squat. Inhale, start pose. 
Exhale, her squat. Allow everything to loosen up one more time. Inhale, start pose. Exhale, her squat. Inhale, star, reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle this time. Straighten your front leg. Reach up and back just like we did before. This time, just with the front or a straight front leg. Push down through your big toe in the front foot and continuously bring your pelvis back to a neutral position. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach back. Big inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down into a low lunge position. Just one more movement. Inhale, low lunge twist. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Now, often drop down to your back knee if this is a lot for your side hip. Try to squeeze your left hamstring up to the sky and hug your outer hip bones in together. Option to stay on your hands on the bottom or come up onto your fist if that supports you better. We'll rotate your chest and your torso up to the sky. Deep inhale to lengthen and exhale to twist. Full inhale. And exhale, drop your hand down to the ground. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing up. Whew, good job, everyone. All right, other side. Gently raise your left leg up to the sky. Spiral your right knee to the middle of your toes. Press your left heel up to the ceiling and press down firmly to the knuckles of your hands. Deep inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Place your foot in between your hands again. If it doesn't make it all the way there, it's okay. Just give it a little wiggle. Move your knee over your ankle. Stay on your Spider-Man fingers. And let's find that hip mobility once more. Rotate yourself to the inside of your leg. Move your hips, move your knee, move your hamstrings. Let's get all of that juicy stuff around our hips moving. Getting the muscles warm. Start to move in the opposite direction, getting the joints warm. Our hips are so important to continuously lubricate with movement. They are what keeps us stable. They are what connects our lower body to our upper body. They are so important. Take care of your hips, friends. Inhale, slowly come back to your low lunge position. Drop your back knee to the floor. Inhale, low crescent, and raise your arms up to the sky, just like we did before. Play around with tucking and untucking your back toes just to support your back knee. Lengthen your tailbone straight down towards the floor and stack your left hip down in alignment with the right. Push right away through your left heel, keeping your legs activated. <clears throat> Rotate your pinkies inward to keep the activation in your upper arms as well. Sink your hips down just slightly because you want to feel that stretch through your right hip flexor and right front thigh. Squeeze your back hamstring into your glute so that you find that elongation along the frontal hips. Take a full inhale and exhale, low press and twist. So rotate your arms to the opposite direction of your leg. So your arms should be rotated and pointing towards your bent knee. So arms come out wide or you bend your elbows, whatever supports your shoulder girdles. Keep your hip points facing forward. And take your gaze behind you just so you can find more mobility through your neck. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist from your torso and your chest. Take your gaze back. Keep the bend in your front knee. One more inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, crescent, and then reach up. Exhale, half splits. Hands on the ground, straighten your front leg. Back hip and knee stay in one line. And then pick up that left hip. You're going to find that unevenness. I want you to bring your hand in your hip crease and then roll the hip down. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders just for right now as you support your body and flex your toes towards your face to lengthen through the calves and the hamstrings. Continue as we pull your chest forward and stay here for a couple breaths. Now, just like we did before, you can creepy crawl your hands forward to find more of activation in your back leg. Or not activation, but lengthening in the back leg. The longer your spine, the longer you're going to feel the stretch behind your leg. Deep inhale and deep exhales. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. 
Creepy crawl your hands back underneath your shoulders. Inhale, low lunge, bend into your front knee, pick the back knee up. Exhale, warrior two, spiral your back heel down, bring your arms out into a T shape. So again, you want to keep front heel to back arch alignment between your legs. Push firmly through the pinky edges of your feet and spiral your left knee open to the middle of your toes so that you're externally rotating your left hip. Back hip down and roll your ribs over your hip bones. Extend through your fingers. Keep that strength. Again, point like thumb is pulling you in opposite directions. Keep the upper body tight. Pull your shoulder blades down your back. Take a moment to gaze forward and tune in completely. As things start to get more challenging, can you focus on all that you've gained already in this first half of class? Maybe it's strength. Maybe it's peace of mind. Maybe it's learning something new. Inhale, reverse warrior, high five the back of the room. Keep the bend in your front knee. Drop the front hip down, again. you want to create space from your back armpit and hip. Keep the bend in your front knee, reach up and back to the full inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, reach your torso forward and take top your arms at 12 and six. Place your elbow in towards your inner thigh and or knee. Find activation as you push and sass your left butt bone back. Keep your arms in one line and lean your chest over your hip. Focus on the strength of your obliques here as you reach up rather than crunching and rounding down. We want to elongate the spine, create that triangle like shape. Inhale, start pose, heels and toes out, open your body big and wide. And then exhale for a squat, bend your knees, bring your hands into your heart center, roll your hips side to side. Bring some comfort back here. Now go ahead and face you really quick. Then find that comfort. Lift your chest up towards your thumbs. Spread your knees to the middle of your toes. You might feel like you're going to fall back, but I really want you to roll your shoulder blades back to keep your ribs and hips in one line. Find that flow. Inhale, star pose. Raise up. Exhale for a squat. Inhale, star pose. Exhale for a squat. One more time. Inhale, reach. And exhale, lower down. Now stay in your fourth squat. Give yourself a full inhale. Breathe through the inner thighs. And a full exhale. Inhale, star pose. Reach up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Remember, straight leg this time. Stack your right hip bone down. Reach up and back. Create length between your ribs and your hips on both sides. Press down through your front big toe. And reach up with your hands and your armpits. Take a full inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down, low lunge. Now hang out here. Last movement. Inhale, low lunge, twist. Reach your left arm high. Squeeze your right hand straight up to the sky. If you drop your back knee on the ground on the other side, please do so here. Option to stay on your hand or your fist, whatever supports your wrist. Push the ground away with your left heel and squeeze your inner thighs up to the sky. Deep inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist. Full breath in. And a full breath out. Gently relax your hand down to the ground. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in through your nose. And a full breath out through your nose. Close your eyes and give yourself three more cycles of breath in your downward facing dog. Just three more cycles of breath. Catch it, come back to your intention. Allow yourself to focus on all that you've gained so far in these first 40 minutes of class. Now we're gonna move into our flow. So moving a little bit faster with all of the movements that we've just learned. Allow yourself to connect with your breathing, connect with your mind, and connect with your body. Downward facing dog is where we meet. If you need to grab some water really quick, we'll have just a couple seconds of break. Grab some water and pop off. I know I'm already really sweaty. It's a beautiful and hot day. <laughs> so this is something I'm thankful for gaining today. So I'm sweat. This is never a bad thing. All right, friends, downward facing dog. Again, we're moving a little bit faster. So really pay attention to the cues 
And pay attention to your body. Your body is a sponge. It will soak in anything that it is taught. Focus on your muscle memory. Inhale, raise your right leg up to the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Remember, a little bit back. Drop your back knee to the ground. Inhale, look, cross and move, reach up. Exhale, vertical twist, reach to the right side or behind you. Inhale, look, cross and move, reach forward. Exhale, half flip. Inhale, low lunge, shift forward. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extend inside angle. Inhale, start the loose. Exhale, horse squat, keep that breath. Inhale, start pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach or reverse triangle, reach back. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, low lunge, twist, reach your right arm to the side. And exhale, high plank, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, lift your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Drop your back knee, inhale, low crescent moon. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Inhale, crescent moon, reach up. Exhale, half flip. Inhale, low lunge, shift forward. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, first squat. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle straight in your front leg. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, low lunge, twist, reach your left arm high. Exhale, high plank to downward facing dog. Whew, good job, friends. We got one more round. I'm going to add on a little bit to pay attention. Inhale, raise your right leg high. Ooh, don't kick anything. <laughs> Exhale, low lunge. Drop your back knee. Inhale, low crescent moon. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half flip. Inhale, low lunge, shift forward. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, triangle pose this time. Straighten your front leg. Place your hands on your hips. I want you to draw your right hip and left hip back. Extend your arms, reach forward, and then tick tock your arms at 12 and 6. So by moving your hips, you're giving more space for your low back to extend and reach your ribs over your shoulders or reach your ribs over your hips. Keep that triangle like shape in your body. You can place your hand on top of your shin just gently or to the inside of your shin. Small bend in your knees to avoid hyperextension. And you wanna create one long line of energy from the base of your heel all the way to your armpit. Take a full inhale. And exhale, reach your shoulders back behind you. Inhale, start this. And exhale, bring your hands on your hips. Pivot your toes into one another so that they're parallel. Inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, gently lean your torso forward and down into your deepest forward fold. Your feet are at least four feet apart from one another. You lean the weight forward into the balls of your feet. You're going to feel a lot of relief for the back line of your legs and your outer hips. You can place your hands on the ground or reach your hands behind you, whatever it may be that makes you feel relief. That brings your body back at ease. Then gently walk your hands underneath your shoulder. Up, hands on your hips, inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. And exhale, low lunge at the bottom. Now, inhale, low lunge, twist, reach your right arm high. Okay, so we're moving in a little bit of an advanced movement. So option to stay here. Option to roll down to the knife edge of your bottom foot. And we'll find five planks. Stack your feet. 
feet on top of one another. Stack your hips as well. And align your arms into a line. So reach to your fingertips, squeeze your shoulders down your back, hug your glutes in. Option to drop down to your bottom knee. Brace your core in and raise your obliques up to the sky. Take a full inhale and then exhale, high plank. Down facing dog is where we meet. Woo, good job, guys. You made it on one side. We've got one more to go. Inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Drop your back knee. Inhale, low crescent moon. Exhale, reverse twist. Inhale, low crescent moon, raise up. Exhale, half flip. Inhale, low lunge, shift forward. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Looking for that change. Exhale, triangle pose straight in your legs. Bring your hands on your hips. Stack your left hip bone back. Reach your arms out, reach forward until you can't reach anymore. And then take off your arms at 12 and 6. Stabilize your back leg as you squeeze your outer butt cheek or your outer thigh to the ceiling. Little bend in your front leg. Lean your ribs back and over your hips. Remember, we reach up more than we reach down to find that triangle like shape in our bodies. Expose and open your heart up to the sky. Give yourself one more full inhale. And a full exhale. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, for squat. Inhale, star pose. And then exhale, wide legged forward fold. Bring your hands on your hips, pivot your toes, and lean your torso forward and down. Finding yourself upside down, allowing circulation to move through your body and allowing yourself to move or allow your central nervous system to just be stimulated. Continuously roll the weight into the balls of your feet, little bending your knees, raise your hip bones up to the sky. And for whatever reason you find any tension in your back, just keep your hands on the ground rather. One more full cycle of breath in. And a full cycle of breath out. Hands on your hips, inhale, rise with a strong back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, low lunge at the bottom. All right. Left advance in big movement. Inhale, low lunge twist. Option to stay here. Option to roll into the knife edge of your bottom foot and find a side plank. So arms are in one line, hips are in one line, rainbow them up to the sky. Stack or stagger your feet. If you drop down to your bottom knee on the other side, do so here. Brace your core in. Take your gaze up to avoid any strain in your neck. Little bend in your elbows. Take a full breath in. Exhale, high plank to downward facing dog. We made it, everyone. Take a full inhale. Big open mouth exhale. Option to drop down to your knees. Grab a quick sip of water as we come into our cool down series. I hope you're all feeling sweaty and well, because <laughs> I definitely am. And as you come down into your knees, grabbing whatever it is that you need before we cool down, allow yourself to just clear your mind. You might feel a little overwhelmed, your breath is heavy, but allow yourself to come back into that space of gratitude and abundance. What is it that you've gained within these first 50 minutes of class? And whether it's that heavy breathing, that sweat, learning something new, learning new postures, maybe just finding peace of mind, some quiet time for yourself. What is it that you've gained? Continuously reiterate that in your mind so that you're not focused on any form of scarcity in your life. Good job, everyone. All righty, we're going to meet back in downward facing dog as we start to close everything up. Gently raise your right leg up to the sky. Take a full inhale. And 
Inhale, place your foot to the outside of your hand for a runner's lunge. Drop your back knee to the floor. Relax your back toes so that your shin or the top of your foot is on the ground. Runner's lunge is a great stretch for your inner groin and inner thigh in the right leg and for your left hip flexor in the left leg. Sink your hips forward. Keep your hands on the floor. Maybe you stay on your fists. If you're extra flexible through your hips, you can also move yourself down onto your elbows or your forearms. Just whatever supports your body best. Breathe into your hips. Breathe into your spine. And allow yourself to cool down. Gently place your right hand on your right thigh. Keep your knee in line with your ankle. Left hand underneath your shoulder. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Gaze to the right side of the room or towards your right knee. And twist up and back. Push your thigh away from your hip bone so you really get that tension or that length in your left hip flexor. Deep inhale to lengthen. Exhale to twist up and back. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to twist. Now gently release your hands down. Chimney your foot all the way across the corner of your mat. So your foot is on the left side and your knee is on the right side for half pigeon pose. Stay on your hands. Gaze past your right shoulder to roll your hips back into alignment. Lean a little bit more. You're going to feel that deep stretch to the outer right hip and then come back to a neutral position on your hands. You can also place your hands in your lower back to level out your hip bones. Keep flexion in your right foot to protect the knee joint and push the earth away with your legs. You're going to see me dipping my hips down. So as I activate my legs, squeeze your inner thighs together. You're going to raise your hips up more so that you have space in the left hip flexor, and you're not just dumping into your joint. Now, it's going to stay here. Option to lower down to your forearm. Find your sleeping pigeon position. I usually like to bring my forehead into my hands just to give my neck a break. But continuously activate your legs, push them away from the ground. Focus on breathing into the outer right hip. Now, if you feel comfortable in your hips, you can find full sleeping pigeon and lay your chest all the way down to the ground. Just one more breath in. And stay for your breath out. Gently place your hands in the ground, tuck your back toes, fire to squat. Inhale, raise your right leg high, straighten the leg. And exhale, scorpion dog, bend your top knee. Open your hip up towards the left corner of your mat. Maybe make some circles with your knee in and out of the thigh. Inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more side, everyone. Gently raise your left heel high. Exhale, runner's lunge. Place your foot to the outside of your hand. Shimmy wiggle it there. Drop your back knee down. Stay on your hands or if you are on your forearms on the other side, please do so here. But make sure that your ankle's in front of your knee so that we're not putting any unwanted tension in the knee joint. Drop your hips towards the ground. Feel that sensation in your right hip flexor and in your inner left thigh and groin. Two cycles of breath. And gently come back up into your hands. Place your left hand on your thigh, just like we did before. Push the earth away or push your hand away from your thigh. And then rotate your torso up to the ceiling. Ooh, you might get a little crack in the back like I just did. Or you might just feel more length through your right hip flexor. So inhale, lengthen, roll your shoulders down. And then exhale, twist and rotate up to the sky. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Now release your hands to the outside of your foot. You're going to shimmy your ankle all across your mat. 
so that your foot is on the right corner and your knee is pointing to the left corner of your mat. Make sure you're on the tops of your back toes. Take a gaze behind you to level out your hips. Lean a little bit more to the right just to feel that extra stretch in your left hip, outer left hip. And then come back to a neutral pelvis. Hands on the ground or whatever supported you best on the other side, whether that's your forearm or chest on the ground. But make sure before you lower down that your legs are activated. Again, so hips down and then hips activated. That's where you want to be. Legs activated. Focus on that sensational stretch to your outer left glute or hip. And as your heart rate has slowed down, maybe your thoughts are a little slower too. Can you just find some gratitude for showing up to your mat today? As simple as that, just showing up, moving your body, breathing consciously, and finding a different mindset today. Steering away from scarcity and allowing your space to be full and abundant. Last breath in. And last breath out. Gently place your hands into the ground, tuck your back toes. Inhale, three legged down dog, left leg high. Exhale, scorpion dog, bend your top knee just like you did before. Push your right knee to the middle of your toes. Make sure your shoulders are pointing down to the ground. So you're not favoring one arm. Find the rolls with your hip and your knee like you did before. Inhale, straighten your leg. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gently drop down to your knees, my friends. Roll all the way onto your back. The best part about class, moving into our surrender series, hug your knees into your chest, rock yourself side to side, make circles with your hips and your knees to the right, and then circles to the left. Hug your knees in, drop your heels down, stretching out the front line of our body, Make sure that you can touch your heel. Inhale, bridge pose, lift your hips up. So feet are separated at hip width distance. Squeeze your inner thighs up to the sky as well as your glutes. Option to place your hands directly under your hips. Use your elbows and forearms to lift your hips high and allow the weight to remain in your shoulders rather than your neck. So really squeeze your shoulder blades together underneath you and push your triceps into the ground. Take a full breath in. Exhale, gently release your hips back down to the earth. Hug your knees in. Give them a tight squeeze. Now scoop your hips up, just slightly bend your elbows, and we're going to knock our legs over towards the right side. Find a double leg supine twist. You can place your hand on your hip and find a little self assist as you roll your hand into the base or the crevice of your upper hip. You're going to push down to the ground with your hip bone. Okay, so just follow the trace of your hip bone from the very top point and then roll down with your hand and then to the right. One more time from the top of the hip to the side and down. Hug your knees in. Other side, scoop your hips up, lean them to the left. Make sure that your right shoulder blade is firmly rooted into the floor. And then place your left hand on your hip, finding that self-assisted movement. Let your neck point as well towards the bent elbow or towards your shoulder that's on the ground. Starting from the top of the hip, we push forward and down. Again, starting from the top. Push forward and then down, following the trace of your hip one more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Just creating more space in the spine and the hips. Gently hug your knees back into center. Give yourself one tight, big squeeze. Bring your shoulders off the ground. Forehead to knees. Embrace your practice. Breathe in. And exhale, gently release your whole entire body down to the floor, finding your resting position. Allow your toes to splay out away from one another. 
Melt your shoulders into the ground. Unclench your teeth, soften your cheeks. And relax the space in between your eyebrows. Surrender to your whole body. Surrender to your whole mind. Become quieter in your thoughts. Lighter with your breath. Stay exactly where you are for five full rounds of breathing. Take your last breath. Waking your fingers, waking your toes, stretch your arms and your body big and wide like you're waking up for the first time of the day. Breathe in. And breathe out. Hug your knees into your chest and then just roll over into your side and pick yourself up into a seated position. Whatever is more comfortable in your body, crisscross applesauce. And find that long spine again. Lean your ears over your shoulders, your shoulders over your hips, and directly sitting on your sit bones, the bony parts of your butt. Focus on your breathing once more. Take a big open mouth exhale, all your stale energy away. <sighs> Deep inhale through your nose as we rise together once more. Bring your hands into your heart center. And then open mouth exhale. Bring your thumbs to your third eye center, your seat of intuition, the space that guides and brings you here today. In this space where I hope you feel abundant and relieve yourself from scarcity. From my to yours, friend. Namaste. Bow forward, feeling in your heart. Thank you so, so much, everyone, for joining into class today um, and for giving yourself this time to find abundance in your day-to-day -day practice. Um, it's so important to focus on all of the things that we do have, all of the things that we're grateful for, um, and all of the things that we gain in adversity. Uh, life is hard. Things happen. Apparently, pandemics happen. That's a thing now. And Yes, it's tough, it's hard, but we learn so much from all of the challenges and obstacles that we're thrown at us. Um, it happens all the time, um, not just through this pandemic, but we're always gonna be facing challenges and we're always gonna be struggling um, through adversity. It's just, it's the way that you handle it. It's the mindset that you keep. So keep yourself abundant and move away from that scarce mindset. Um, thank you so much, everyone. I cannot wait to teach you again. Namaste, everyone. Happy Friday. Thank you.